Hi friends, it's Teacher Darcy. Welcome to part six of six in our home adventures. I'm in my favorite room of my home, my bedroom. I'm gonna read you a bedtime story. The title of this book is called Frogtastic. The author's names are on the back, Jill Turner and Robert Toon. This is a very special book and you'll see why. It's a pop-up book. Ferdinand was a curious frog. He was always asking questions. He wanted to know why the sky is blue and where the sun goes at night. He wanted to know everything. Here's a word. It says curious. Curious means he wants to know everything. Sometimes we're curious and want to know what's going on around us. I'm going shopping. Meet me for lunch by the big tree, said Ferdinand's mother, putting on her blue hat. Why? asked Ferdinand. You'll see, said his mother. Ferdinand decided to take the path through the forest to the big tree. Suddenly, whoosh, bump, big Fergus crashed into Ferdinand. I'm sorry, I'm in a hurry cried Big Fergus, climbing back on his bicycle. Why are you called Big Fergus? asked Ferdinand. That's, e that's easy, said Fergus. I'm big. Anyway, I've got to rush. But where? said Ferdinand. Too late, Big Fergus had gone. Ferdinand hopped through the forest. Suddenly he saw his friend Frankie wearing his new hat and red tie. Where are you going? asked Ferdinand. Too late, Frankie had hopped off on his way. Ferdinand was puzzled. That means he was confused. Where were all of his friends going in such a hurry? Ferdinand passed a quiet pond where he saw Felicity Frog. What are you doing? he asked. Jumping in and out of the water like a fish, chuckled Felicity. Anyway, I've got to go. But where? said Ferdinand. Too late, Felicity had dived into the water. Ferdinand heard voices. It was Freddy and Faith. What are you doing? asked Ferdinand. We're looking for something green, said Freddy. Green, you're something green, said Faith. Anyway, we must go, declared Freddy. But where, said Ferdinand. Too late, Freddy and Faith had, were on their way. Look, Ferdinand is green. The grass is green. This grass that he's on is green. Can you see anything else that's green on this page? Ferdinand heard a sound coming from the reeds. These are the reeds. Ribbit, ribbit, rib, rib, ribbit, sang Francis and Felix at the top of their voices. Why are you singing? shouted Ferdinand. We're rehearsing, sang the two friends. But why? asked Ferdinand. Too late. Francis and Felix were singing again. Ribbit, ribbit, rib, rib, ribbit. Frogs say ribbit. Ferdinand followed the path to the lily pads. On ponds, you can see lily pads. The frogs jump on them. What are you doing? asked Ferdinand. I'm trying to find some shapes, said Flora. What have you found? asked Ferdinand. I found a circle, said Flora. Now, Ferdinand, come with me. But where? asked Ferdinand. Surprise! yelled all of Ferdinand's friends. Great, said Ferdinand. A picnic! Mother Frog smiled at Ferdinand. Now you know where we all were doing. Now, Ferdinand, I have a question for you, she said. How many frogs are in at this picnic? 
Ten, of course, shouted Ferdinand. Count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten frogs. Thanks, friends, for joining me on these adventures. Be safe, be healthy, and remember, you are so very loved. Good night.